So in honor of Father's Day, we've decided to ask a few questions of all the members of our family-run business. So to start out, uh, this is my father, John Peterson. He's the CEO of Quinn Global. And this is my grandfather, Richard Peterson. He is the um, CFO of Quinn Global. And I am Matt Peterson, the uh, President and CDO, uh, Culture Development Officer, or Chief Development Officer, however you want to look at it. I think one of the best things, uh, one of the biggest advantages of a family-run business is, is the flat organizational structure. It's not, it's not really a hierarchical system. Um, and I think it makes it easier to make fast decisions. And, and um, besides that, three generations of people that can, can review a decision to make sure it is the right decision. So Dad, what, what do you think it takes to succeed as a family-run business? Well, first of all, I think you need to have a, a little bit of separation between business and family life. And second, I think you need to be prepared to carry more than your share of the workload and more than your share of the responsibility and be prepared to accept less than your share of the compensation. So Grandpa, what would you say is the best piece of advice that has been shared between generations? Yeah. Well, that's, that's a tough one, but uh, one, one of the things that uh, you, you have to recognize when you're older is that the younger generation are educated differently and they have more, they're equipped with uh, better uh, uh, knowledge of how to uh, do some of the things than we who are older. Well, finally, I guess I've got one final question, and that is, uh, Grandpa, could you just share the funniest experience that you've ever had dealing with our adhesives? Well, I think uh, one of the funniest ones was uh, Matt was he uh, was doing most of the uh, development work, and he was working on uh, filling an aerosol can full of glue. And all of a sudden, I heard a noise, and I go tearing downstairs to see what had happened. And here's poor old Matt with the, the thing had gone up and hit the ceiling. And uh, what else happened? <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember it except that I was a mess. <laughs> yeah, that um, I, I seem to be the brunt of a few jokes here, but Dad, why, why don't you share yours? And this one won't be about you. <laughs> In the early days, and I was doing receiving along with every other job there was to do, um, we had a truck driver that brought us a delivery and he had damaged some of the product and gotten glue all over the floor of his truck. He put down newspaper to try to absorb it and it was it was a very interesting sight because as he took the stuff out of the truck he had to walk over this and he started picking up more and more newspaper sticking to his shoes until he ended up with big gobs of <laughs> newspaper stuck to his shoes. <laughs> Poor guy, I hope you had some adhesive remover for him. And then we filed a claim to it, didn't we? <laughs> Probably did, yeah. Uh, yeah, well like I said, I, I, I I always enjoy a joke on myself, and uh, there's been a few of those, like the one Grandpa referred to, but the one I is mo most memorable for me is we got a canister back from a customer that was partially empty, and it was the valve was bent on it, and one of the other employees at the time had a brilliant idea that we should try and straighten the valve out, <laughs> and I was, of course, stupid enough to try and, try and do it, and I got a big wrench and started torquing on it and sure enough when you know the valve broke off and of course it was a big it was a jumbo canister so it there was a lot of glue in it still and it sprayed up to the ceiling and it, uh, we got glue we still have glue on the ceiling in the warehouse to show where it was and it, of course it rained down in my hair and all over my shirt and on the floor and yeah uh, we had a lot of fun cleaning that up and um, i had to get a haircut so <laughs> but thank you everybody for watching today um Trust you have a good Father's Day. Enjoy a safe and happy, prosperous Father's Day.